It's mad, it's like being on a film set. This is 36-year-old Mike. How's it going, yeah? Weird. I, I don't think, I think I'll digest it by the time I'm having, like, a Domino's tonight when I'm back in Groomsby. A trainee driving instructor struggling to shift his love life up a gear. Hello, how are you? Good, thanks, are you? How are you, Mike? Yes, I nice am. Nice to meet you. And you? Are you ready for this? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. You've been single for long? Seven years. Seven years? Hmm. My dating life, it literally doesn't exist. Come. I got fed up with the whole swipe left, swipe right thing. You just sort of see people, you just think, fuck, he's cool. Good. Hello, sir. Yes. If it was me or him going after the same girl, I'd just walk away. I need a way of getting to know people so they're not quite as judgmental in that way. Thank you very much. And tell me, where are you from? Uh, Grimsby. Lovely. Yes, home of fish? Home of fish and asbos. <laughs> fish and asbos. There we go. <laughs> Who are you looking to meet, by the way? Difficult to sort of define, but just that person that you sort of click with. You know, physical attraction is one thing, but there's got to be, like, a sort of common ground. It's where you can just sit and talk about nonsense for, like, an hour and it feel like five minutes. Yeah. I, I do like curvy women. I, I'm definitely a boob man. If that's backed up with a witty sense of humour, you know, that would just be like catnip for me. Are you looking forward to this? Yeah. Perfect. Shall I take your call? Yes, please. In a nutshell, I'd probably describe my love life as non-existent. I've never been in a relationship at all. First ever date, so I've got no idea what it's going to be like. Swing a lot of shoulder here. That's very good. Well, I might as well use it as an excuse to dress up. Yeah, you've got to do it. <laughs> Definitely need someone who who's funny. It's more about personality, really. Like someone gets more attractive if I like their personality that's behind it. I'm Zoe. Please, Mia. How do you do this? Do we go in for? I do. No. I'm Mike. Mike. Hello. Please to meet you. Oh, so where have you travelled from then? Grimsby. What's it like? To be brutally honest, it's shit. Um, OK. It's, it's shit. I mean, I live in, like, a village outside of Grimsby, but it's it's not brilliant. If Grimsby's not great, what do you get up to, then, to amuse um, yourself? My sort of really big passion is sort of cars. I sort of go to a couple of shows in Birmingham in a, a year, and um, I've done, sort of like, a bit of classic car restoration. And for me, cars are quite a, a sort of an important thing. What sort of things are you really into? I like nerdy things, Marvel films, Star Wars. Right. What about sort of Back to the Future, for example? That's all right. That's fine. That's the correct answer. <laughs> That's fine. That at least means it's open to conversation. Because it's so. got a car in it. No, it's just brilliant. <laughs> Car's cool as well, but it's got everything, hasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> How old are you? 36. 36, OK, I'm 29. I was not going to ask, but since <laughs> you told me that... I'm... I have literally no problems with age. Like. Mm. So, relationship history. There's a broad topic to expand into. Relationship well, history. Not so broad for me. <laughs> OK. There isn't really any relationship or dating history to tell you about. Just thought it would happen a certain way, and it hasn't. And well, you're um, here. Yeah. You're here, so. Fairly recently, like, got on a dating app, and it's just, it just feels so weird. Like you're judging someone on a picture and a very yes. brief description, and yes. it's like, mm -hmm. yes. you know, I'm, I'm not naive. I admit, you know, I wouldn't win like a Ryan Gosling lookalike contest, for example, and I accept <laughs> that. But you're not going to put somebody on your wall and have them as a poster, right? You're not going to just come in every night and be like, yeah, there she is, let's look at her. It's going to be like, right, what fun memories and things can we do together? And There you go. Thank you. That's amazing. <laughs> that's, that's one of the most impressive things I've seen. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Genuinely, my first word was car. <laughs> Genuinely. And do you know the really weird thing? I've got one of those memories. I can actually remember the car in question. Oh, wow. I mean, that's like, what, 35 odd years ago now, but. That's got me thinking now. I really wish I could find out what my first word was. 
last June, I was diagnosed with Asperger's syndrome. Oh, right. So I just see the world as like loads of different visual cues to memories and things like that. So I only know the world that way. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It's... In a way, though, that sounds quite cool. Like you can connect things together. That, that's or... that's a conclusion I've come to, but it's it's not ideal being diagnosed so late in the day when you're 35. Yeah. Because I didn't really understand it, and obviously the diagnosis came so many years after my last relationship. I think I might have seemed to the people I was with like I was a bit disinterested sometimes. I wasn't disinterested. I was just finding so many different things a struggle to like keep spinning and stay on top of and and deal with. When they told me that, I was I remember breathing a huge sigh of relief because I and he said, "What do you think?" And I said, "Well, I've got a word for it now." I've been single for sort of seven years. I sort of interacted with the world at arm's length for a while. So it's, yeah, I'm, I'm starting to see it more of a strength. So I'm, I constantly try and remind myself that, yeah, I do deserve to be happy and to, to be with someone nice. Sort of reluctant to sort of tell people straight away because I thought I'd get, like, labelled, but they get to a point where you just think, well, it is what it is. You can't, you can't choose it. I've been, I was thinking recently about that saying, like, the people who mind don't matter and the people who matter, matter don't, don't mind. mind yeah. It's really, really true. It's liberating as well. It's difficult to say whether she fancied me, because I think there's, you know, so I don't hold myself in massively high esteem. I have prepared the bill for you. Thank you very much. There you go. That doesn't want to be on that side, that wants to be on this oh, side. Well, yes. Quite happy to go halves. No. You insist? Yeah. Would you like to see each other again? Who's going first? That's the first question. Can you go first? I don't, I don't mind either way. Yeah, I'd, I'd like to, just purely because we had plenty in common and the conversation flowed really easily and I think there's loads of things we could still talk about and, yeah. Yeah, same. It's a really, really nice night, considering it's my first ever date probably couldn't have gone much better. Well. Only if you insist, cos yeah. I'm a very modern person. I'm not so feminist that I'm like, no, how dare I'm you? I'll tell Jermaine Greer. We just got each other, mm. really. I was expecting there'd be, like, awkward silences and the fact that there were none. It was just comfortable, wasn't it? Yeah. We, just, we had some drinks and it was great. Have a lovely evening. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. Bye. Plenty of places to find a good pint. I mean, that somebody couldn't pour a pint in the amount of time it takes you to <laughs> dispense with it. I think this is one of those electric cabs, isn't it? You reckon? I think so. Maybe we need a repeat performance. <laughs> Got a question for you. Is this electric? Electric. Oh, there Told we go. you. <laughs>